Hello, producer, and welcome now to Tuesday. Sunny, super pensive or chatty, and doing a lot of learning or teaching today. The moon is in Cancer, so Tauruses are processing, processing in a huge way. In fact, not just huge, full moon huge. This is probably the most pensive, most intellectually chatty transit of the entire year of 2011. Always happens with a full moon in Cancer. Now, the moon's not full today, but every minute of the day becomes more full. It technically goes 100% full tomorrow morning, but I think the lesson is going to pour in today. What's the lesson? Well, you're going to be very passionate about a certain attitude or a certain mindset. Be really fixed in a very Taurus stubborn way about how you think and the way it should be and all that sort of thing. But remember, a full moon is an opposition, a tug of war between the sun and the moon, and the lesson is with the sun. It comes down to your beliefs, Taurus. It's about having the right beliefs in place so that you can have peace of mind, so that you can have peace of communication, so you have clear communication, right? So you're going to be very hot under the collar about communication or your thoughts and what's going on in your head, but the lesson is having the right beliefs in place, okay? And changing your beliefs and getting rid of beliefs that don't serve you. If your beliefs keep you in a state of mind of unhappiness, maybe the beliefs don't work. That's what the astrology is saying. And the next 24 hours, as the sun goes 29 degrees, you'll be tested on what you believe and what you don't believe. And you'll have an opportunity to fall back into the old thinking and belief structure. And it's Tuesday. We've got a new episode of Just Ask Us with Lauren Serafan and Angelo Eros going live today. Great episode with these two. Angelo talks about what it's like to work as a psychic on a crime scene. Fascinating behind the scenes kind of conversation. And a soul gardener writes in, who has recently broken up with one of the loves of her life, so this person she loved, I assume she's going to find another love, that's why I say one, but here's the catch. She still has to work with this guy in the same office. How do you handle that? Well, Lauren and Angelo give their advice in a way only they can, and they're live everywhere. Our garden is blooming. All right, Bull, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow we get tested with a 29th degree. Until then, live, love, be. So